It's my birthday. We're in Madrid, Spain. No long thing, HB. <laughs> We're going to a country that none of us have ever been to before, Turkey. James Hyde. Almost hit me. We're in Madrid, Spain. We're about to go to play a club called Fit. But that's not all. It's my birthday, and as soon as we finish this show, the guys have got presents. I don't know what the fuck they've got me, but let's go. Before we get to the debrief, these guys have got birthday presents for me. 
and I wasn't expecting any of these birthday presents. And I'll tell you a funny story. When we got to the airport, the guys had presents, but because they had to take them on the plane, they were unwrapped. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, this can't happen. I mean, I, I don't give a shit if the presents are wrapped, to be honest, but you guys do. So <laughs> I was like, for the purpose of the video, we've got to wrap these fucking presents. So these guys have been out and about around Madrid trying to find wrapping paper. What is that? Because it doesn't look like wrapping paper. It's um high quality. It's a tablecloth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it works. I've, I've wrapped presents that have looked much worse than that. So yeah, good, good job. Have you seen subs? <laughs> it also works. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to you. This is, why is it embarrassing opening presents, isn't it? <laughs> Remember when I gave you a present? You were shook. <laughs> Look at the quality on that, man. Two, ja two James. Stay paid. Happy early birthday. This bit looks like an actual 10 year old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's a t shirt. This is banging. <laughs> That's sick. Love it. 3D print. Come on. Standard. Yeah, that's banging. Thank you, bro. That's all right, man. Hey. My guy. <laughs> sick guy. Thank you, bro. That's hang on, I'm going to hang it, hang it up. Wait there. I don't know what the point is because it's going in a suitcase tomorrow, <laughs> but... All right, who's next? Uh, you can open mine. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun seeing everyone's handwriting in it. To James, happy birthday from what? Look how he writes Wallace, it's really nice. <laughs> it's like, it's very like, a, he's got style to his writing. Just saying the size difference. <laughs> <laughs> I like the J as well. <laughs> there this is sick, but I need to explain it to the camera. Right, that. His suitcase wheels, right, come here. Look at my bag, right? I've got the black bag with all red accessories, yeah? These are all like add-ons, all the red accessories. And then you come over here. i got a black suitcase. There's no red accessories, but there are now. Come on, Wally, this looks so <laughs> sick. I've never seen a black Camaro with red wheels either. Come on. Who does this? Thank you, bro. No. <laughs> no long ting HB. Didn't even get the D on the end. <laughs> no long ting. Oh, oh shit. Woo! <laughs> This is sick, man. Only one in the UK, yeah? It's the first one in the UK. This is the first one of these bags in the UK. <laughs> Only with Sean K could pull that off. This is sick. So I need a... Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I need a smaller bag for when I'm not going to the airport and shit. Oh, throwing money around there. <laughs> this is sick, man, thank you. I'm not going to put it on because I'm sweaty. <laughs> Good, first run with sweat. That's banging. Thank you, bro. That's all right. Appreciate it, man. Let's talk about the show. <laughs> <laughs> if we ignore a few things, it was amazing. But the things are too big to ignore. There was a power cut. There's a couple, a couple of bits of footage that Wallace will put in of the power cut. It was dramatic. Um, yeah, there were, I couldn't do anything because all the sound system turned off and everything, so I couldn't even like get on the mic. I was just standing there going like, Ray! Um, and it, I think the power was off for like two or three minutes. And then it came back. And it was sick after it came back. Also, there was issue, there were issues with the, um, the, the connection between the decks, like trucks wouldn't load. It was going into emergency loop all the time. And um, one of them just stopped at one point. 
and like like it had ejected the SD card by itself. So yeah, they were a bit problematic, but we worked around it. One thing that was nice tonight, I had four CDJs and a DJS 1000, so I was able to switch between the two. First time I've ever, I've ever done that, and it was really good. I actually really enjoyed it, yep. um, and it was like versatile. And if three out of four decks break, don't worry, you still got one deck and a DJS oh. 1000. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's hard to rate the show. It really is. I think I'm going to give it an eight. Um, I'd have, I'd have liked to have given it higher, but obviously those issues were pretty bad. Um, I like to think that the people in the crowd would still have had a good time though, because yeah. I don't think the issue would have, like, we had a couple of minutes of silence, but other than that, it was a sick show. It was really good. Loved, I love the, the venue's amazing. I love the layout of the venue. It sounded good in there. Um, all the people were really nice. Good hype fam. Paid? I agree. So I think all the positives of the show held up the rating. Mm. If it weren't all the positives, then it would have been like free. But <laughs> I'd give the show a nine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The only bad things were like the power cuts and stuff like that. I mean, there was some people that were rude in the crowd, but that's minor. Um, yeah, everyone was just really nice, apart from that, all the workers. The layout of the club was fucking sick. All the LED lights were a touch as well. The light, the lighting guy was on job. It was, yeah. a, it was a big night for you as well, wasn't it, Paid? <laughs> yeah. You met your uh, Spanish cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <clears throat> so, somewhere in the gene pool of Spain, <laughs> my family have been there, I think. And yeah, I now have a Spanish double ganger cousin. Vamos. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> Do you know what? You would have thought out of his stress and given this a low rating, but I have to give you an 8.5. Wow. Like, um, they're just really, really nice. Everyone that works there has been really, really nice. It's weird because when we did sound check, I was there for an hour and a bit and everything was working. Like, everything was working. And then... Yeah. But weirdly enough, the power cut fixed all the problems. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. After the power cut, all yeah. of the issues with the decks were, were fixed. Yeah. So weird. So, um, yeah. It was sick to see you using, like, the DJS, all the four decks and everything like that, because I've been waiting to see, like... The weird, the weird thing with that, you yeah. can't sync the DJS, so that's you have cool. to manually get it in time. in time. But I don't mind that. Yeah. It'll take some getting used to, but I yeah. actually don't mind it. So it's gonna be wavy seeing that. Yeah. It look, it looks sick as well. Like seeing the whole setup like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, the hype fam were actually and respectful. I know you said there was rude people, yeah. but they no, were they very were respectful. Hype. Like even the people that were next to us were actually like patting me to yeah. like, can I go past? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. There were a lot of undercover hype fam as well. Forgot to say. Yeah, that. there was there was um, yeah, they really nice venue, really nice people. Right, you already know what I'm gonna say. Yep. And what I actually found really funny is a hype fan came up to me and asked me if it was too hot. And yes, it was too hot. It was really hot in the bed. I was wearing a hoodie, but that's besides the point. Uh, anyways, if we didn't have the issues, I reckon I would have given it a 9.5. But I can't not see the issues. So I'm going to go with James and I think it's an 8. Um, hype fan were fucking sick. Most of the crowd were really, like, they were going for it. But when Paid and I were filming in the crowd... They were a bit rude. <laughs> Paid now again, elbowed left, right, and center. Um, all the workers of the venue was sick. LD was sick. Um, yeah, eight. I really enjoyed it actually. Bang in. Oh, question: Was yeah. the batteries there? No batteries. No batteries. Oh. Oh. Five. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so in the morning, we're going to a country that none of us have ever been to before. Turkey. The club is called Phonics Client, and it looks amazing. They've had loads of sick DJs play there. Um, I really don't know what to expect because the culture is different and I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. I love going to new places and the only bad thing is we don't get there until 9pm so we're not really going to see much of Istanbul but hey, that's touring. So yeah, and then we're gonna. it'll be my, my actual birthday as well at midnight tomorrow night. So yeah, let's go to bed. Not together. <laughs> who, who does this? Transition. Drums. Yo, we're in a stump.
ball. I'm totally disorientated. Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> I'm, to I'm totally disorientated because we got out of the airport and into a really blacked out van. Drove for 40 minutes and now we're here. And it doesn't really look like a city, but I think we're not, I think we're in like a more like suburban area or something. But here we are at the hotel. Oh, they're going to want to check our bags here. Transition. Yeah, transition. Turkey. Um, yeah, just getting ready for the show. Um, I've covered the mic. <laughs> just getting ready for the show. I'm really tired. It's just been a weird day because we just did a, woke up, did a four hour flight or four and a half hour flight. And then because of the change in time zones, we landed and now it's, we gotta go straight to the club. So yeah, it's like, it's kind of shit when the day goes like that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's my first time in Turkey, so I don't really know what the vibe is, like musically. The club has booked some really cool DJs. Uh, so, just put a load of shit in a folder and see what, see what, um, see what feels right, you know? So yeah, let's do it. That's my birthday in like an hour as well. So yeah, who does this transition? Excuse me. Uh, because you're not coming in that. Why? You're coming in this. Ah, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Who's driving? Right. You're good, you're yeah. good driver, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, let's go. What's up? Happy birthday hey. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, DJ. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. You're welcome. I tried to call you at midnight, but no signal. Yeah, I had no signal. <laughs> I, had to, I had to buy EE data twice. I bought it the first time for eight quid and then it stopped working so I had to buy it again for eight quid. Oh my god. Because I knew you'd be trying to call it's me, that's why I bought midnight. it. Yeah. <laughs> Turkey yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Love you. Have See you soon. Ever. Thanks. Bye. You're old now. No, no, as old as you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Not as old as Rash. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
If I could rate higher than 10, I would. It was amazing. It was just fucking, it was fire. It was really good. And while I am sat at a table with the promoter who booked me, I wouldn't, I would be saying the exact same thing even if they weren't here. <laughs> it's, it's better than a 10. Um, it was the venue, like the layout, I love it. Um, and the fans were amazing. And I played really well and they gave me a cake. And it's just fucking great, right? Birthday. <laughs> Birthday. Um, do you know what? Despite everything that happened. Why what happened? Um, well. <laughs> Sorry, mate. We've got to keep it 100. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's his job role? I don't know what his job role, but um, yeah, he was trying to get to James. I won't let him through because he wanted to turn down the, the volume. And um, yeah, he wanted to fight me. <laughs> oh well, but um, despite all of that, shout out to this guy right here and him as well. Thank because you very much, guys, for coming to you. Yeah, it's they, great. They, they literally good? had my back during the situation, so um, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, um, and the other guy, I can't remember his name. But yeah, him as well. But, um, but. It was a 10. Hey! <laughs> So, thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday, James. Thank you. I'm going to do a Rashan, no long thing. It was a 10. It was really good. There were some minor bad things, but it wasn't enough to bring the rating down. Those things were smoking. I just don't like cigarettes in it, and it's too much for me. And also, tight booth. <laughs> and a classic. It was quite hot. So yeah. In the words of Rashan K, no long ting, very hot, very sweaty, mad, mad fucking hype fam. Flags, banners, everything, phones. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, the booth was, uh, the booth monitors were doing a bit of a mazza, but apart from that, I got no complaints. Sab's choking on some food. So that brings us to the end of a fire episode of Moving Differently. Don't forget, go to www.stereohype.global because we've got hoodies that are out right now. If you like this episode, you should probably go and watch episode 33 when we went to Bangkok. It's wild. There's a link right here. See you next time. Who does this? Bye.